What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It's his I, James. Readoptionagency.com. 22 years selling full-time on eBay. And two months selling on Posh. And we're going to get into some stuff today, I think. I don't know. It's Friday. Ooh, we get to do a week update. So we're going to do our weekly update, see what our top selling categories are for the week. Um, we're going to get into what changed on eBay and uh, a change I'm coming up with for my YouTube channels. So let's go. So with eBay, yesterday we started out on a little diff on a similar trajectory as the days before. Uh, but then I noticed sales coming in more consistently. Um, and I was waiting for it to cut off, and it kind of did, but kind of didn't. So I'm like, okay, well, this is different. And I was expecting it to cut off at like 10, 9 or 10. I can't remember exactly where I stopped. But uh, because I was right about, I was at 536. And I'm like, okay, we're a little bit over where I've been averaging, so... Well, it cut me off now, and it didn't. So I went to uh, bed, or watch TV, and ended up making it to $618. So at least we broke that $500 level. So I was happy to see that. Uh, didn't do anything different. Nothing I put up immediately sold. I finally just sold one from a few days ago, but yeah, nothing else that I recognize recently sold. So there was no real big difference on that end. So this morning, right now we're at nine o'clock AM. I'm at $155. So still about the same start out as it has been. So we'll see how the day winds up. Uh, last 31 days down 9.5 percent so i'm at least away from that 15-ish mark so that's good to see uh, traffic wise split wise better show up for organic 16 organic 23 promoted now what i did do yesterday that was different um i went in in the morning and i changed my percentage then i went in and changed it again about an hour later then about an hour later i went in and changed it again then about an hour later i went in and changed it again so i changed it like four times within about a four hour period just to shake it up you know just to try something different and my money went up did that have anything to do with it i'm not 100 percent, but it is the one thing i did differently yesterday that i hadn't in the eight days prior that were all pretty much the same so I'm not sure if it did anything different. I did notice on a lot of the offers that were coming through, they were all different percentages that I played with yesterday. So it was being pinging somehow, you know, in different percentage brackets. So first experiment of that type, whether that's what changed it or not, I don't know, but uh, if today turns out to be like a $500 day, then maybe I try it again tomorrow and see if it does anything. So, just something different. Had to do something different, you know? So, nothing else was working. So, let's see. Um, let's just do jump into the top five, shall we? So... Custom sales. All right, so last week did $4,026, down 17%. So that leveling out just kind of just was a pooper. It was a pooper. 253 items, down 19%. Average per item, $16. That's up 3%. Um, what I have noticed in the last couple of days 
there's a little bit more bulk buys are happening. So that's a positive. Um, so I think I got two today from overnight. So, all right, top five items sold last week. Coming in at number five, new to the countdown, we've got men's clothing, coats, and jackets. So we're headed into the fall. Jackets are on the rise. $161 sold in jackets, up 155%. So get those jackets listed, get those coats listed, get those things up and going. Number four on the list is a category I am trying to improve and keep into the top five maybe even bust into the top three. And that is men's t-shirts. $197 in men's t-shirts down 9%. So we were down, but we're coming out of summer into fall. So that's expected. Number three, as always, cassette tapes. I haven't put cassette tapes up in two and a half months and cassettes are still consistently number three. Uh, $371 in cassette tapes down 30%. So that dictates the fact that I haven't put any up. But if you don't take anything else from this video, take that one thing. Cassette tapes. Have not touched cassette tapes in over two months. And it's a foundation material for my business. Always sitting in solid, solidly at number three. I mean, number... It's the difference between number four and number three is $175. No. Yeah. No. $275. Do the math here. It's early. $175. Okay. Get with it, James. So, I mean, that's a big... That's a big... Find your foundation items. If you're trying to build long-term um, success, a long-term business, find your foundation items, the items that will come through for you even if you ignore them. But you got to put in, you know, the hard work at the beginning to get that many listed. I got, I think, maybe 11,000 cassette tapes listed now because I haven't put any up, but they've been selling. So I got about 11,000 up now, had 13, and they're still paying out. So find that solid foundation item for your business for long-term success. Uh, number two, as always, music CDs. Um, I've been putting some music up since I've been getting it at the Benz or Jan has. Uh, $676 down 6%, but still a big solid number almost $700 in one week from the CDs. So number one, as always, men's hats, $848 down 12%. So those top three is always, has been my foundation. I could ignore them for a couple of months and they're still going to put out for me. So, cause they're easy like that. And you got to find those nice, easy items. That's going to be the foundation for long term. And um, honorable mention at number six, as expected, football. So uh, football items, $132 down 25%. So there you go. With women's hats coming up behind that. So women's hats are starting to move into closer too. So there we go. Nice little thing there all right um what i'm going to do with youtube now i've got two channels that i'm finding i can't have enough content for because i'm just not getting to that stuff that would be hat channel and the just music and games where i'm putting up the cds and the the media like i'm not having enough i'm not creating enough content for those channels to make them sprout as you know quickly as i would want them to be because like right now i stand there and look okay the hats are kind of buried i've got to go and pick through them 
pick through different bags to get them out and to make a stack, that takes time, right? Uh, with media, I have no media immediately available because it's buried in storage. And I think I've gone through all the recent pickup of media already in the videos. So I'm looking at these two channels. I'm like, they're going to be, they've been ignored for three or four days. I'm going to probably have to ignore them for another three or four days. Well, that's not success. That's not good. That's not a good rhythm for YouTube and building success on a channel. So I think what I'm going to do today is turn the hat channel into another channel. I got to find a name and then not put any content on the Just Music and Games channel anymore but just have a channel showing pickups, items. So the media, the hats, the clothes, the toys, just everything. So it'll be like, you know, the, I haven't found it. I want to find a name that's universal. Um, that kind of says reseller, but kind of says hoarder, the reselling hoarder. I don't know, you know. I don't, I don't technically want to use the hoarding name, but I want to use a name that gets a lot of searches on YouTube. So I'm going to play around this weekend and try to find that perfect name. Uh, if you have something you want to donate, you know, a name you want to donate, an idea, uh, hit it below. Let me know so I'm, and see if, and I got to play with it. And I want to find something that would really comes up in searches when people search for things. But I don't want to make it too broad where it'll get buried until it's big you know what i mean so i want to find that balance name so i'm just going to put all the finds everything i get in everything i pull from storage so there'll be storage videos there'll be yard sale um what i found at yard sales i'll still put the yard sale point of view videos up on here and obviously i still need a couple of videos on here for the weekend since i don't i try to do other things on the weekend or not the normal things i should say i don't make this video i don't ship so I'll still have a couple of videos for the weekend on this channel that are oddball channels, but they, even my weekend, maybe, maybe I just stopped listing on this channel on the weekend because those, they don't get very many views anyway. And I'm wondering if that's hurting the algorithm, you know what I mean? So, or I just rethink the weekend video for this channel. And then anything that I, I'm going to list, no matter what it is, I put it on this new channel. So, because when I put that on here, you know, a lot of you guys don't really watch it. So, it gets a lot less views. So, if I just concentrate this channel on sold and shipping and problems and ideas and thoughts and communication and helpfulness and stuff like that, it might do the other videos more justice someplace else and then offer include shipping no no just no i'm not playing that game but um yeah so i I want to find something that pulls in resellers, but what can also pull in people who like watching, say, like the open box videos or something, trying to, ooh, what's he going to pull out next? So I want to try to give it that little element of twist, too, when I do them and in the name. So that's where I'm playing at with the name field. Something that could draw in a reseller, but something that could draw on other people who like those what's in the box type style videos and things like that. So that's where I got to figure something out. So that's where I'm at with that. Yeah, because those two channels are not going to grow if I'm not constantly feeding them. And if I can't constantly feed them because I can't get to the product, then this makes more sense to uh, grow a channel like that. Because then I could feed it daily with whatever I'm working on that day. I'm drafting this stuff today. Let's make a quick video showing what I'm drafting. Videos out there. So I'm constant. At least I'm getting like more action this morning. Like overnight, I only had, uh, I think there was only two hours where nothing came through. 
And that was three o'clock hour and the one o'clock, no, 11, 11 p.m. and 3 a.m. Those are the only two hours where nothing came through. So pretty steady overnight. It's been pretty busy with offers this morning, more than normal. A couple of those mornings I woke up and only had like two offers all night long, you know, like, and I know there's been big issues with the offers, just, just trying to accept them alone. It will air out. So maybe that was fixed. Or maybe it's just my weekend to be on. <laughs> we'll see. I don't expect anything to last anymore. It's like, it's my on time. Let's go. And that's about it. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm headed with the YouTube thing. So if I can give a little bit more attention to. So, well, uh, let's do a few questions and comments. And then we'll get this stuff shipped out. I got some Posh and eBay today. I had two offers on one item on Posh. I accepted one. And the sale thing, or saying there's, there, I guess their credit card's not up to date or not working. So it didn't go through. So now that other one's hanging. I'm like, well, crap, I, I want to accept the other one now, but I can't. So that kind of stunk. Stunk. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to try to just skip through these. I appreciate all the comments on yesterday's apology video. I just, I just don't want to wait. You know, I just, it's not that I don't care if one person thinks that, but I don't want a person to infect, you know, with their kind of thought process. I don't want them to infect my channel. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I get why it happened, and I'm like, so that's why I did the apology, because I can understand why, because I wasn't clear, like I normally am, so I'm just going to go through all those, so I appreciate those. I've read most of them already, so, and I, I got the mix of thank you for posting an apology mixed with apologies not necessary, so. Well, I'm not doing this. If I were you, I'd take that video down completely. No, it's not. It's not. No. No. It's not that drastic. I know how shabby trees tree handles any comments from haters. She says, oh, well, guess they are having a bad day and laughs. Well, that's, that's the way most of them are. Most of them are just, they have no basis other than what's in their own you know, thought process. And most of it is a reflection of the person saying it. So when that's what, that's what nine times out of 10, the hate comes from. It's a reflection of one's own personal uh, ignorance, if you will. Like people who call people racist for no reason, that's because that person calling the person is probably a racist because they are the ones declaring differences in color as opposed to the person who said whatever you know unless it was completely racist you know what i mean so so nine times out of ten it's 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 from the uh what's the right word the insecurities of the person it's coming from so but when i went back and watched that one I didn't explain myself like I normally do. So if I would have explained myself and somebody said that, I would have said the same thing. Psh, get out of here. Shut up. You know, type of thing. So people take, people need, people, newer people on the planet need to understand just as I did when I was younger. Each generation is different. Each generation more and more gets taken away for good reasons and or for bad reasons, whatever the case may be, generations change. So every outlook from a different generation 
is different. Things were said in the 80s out of jest that you can't say today because too many people are like, no, you can't do that, you know? So if it, if, if somebody from, you know, who's was born in the 50s says something a certain way that is not okay today, PC, I don't think nothing of it because I know that's the, the time of that person. And it could mean a totally different thing to them what it's meaning to a person today or even a person of the next generation after them. So people today, even though they're, you could be smarter than ever of any past generation because of all the information at your fingertips, the one thing that I can't help with is common sense. And today's society seems to lack a lot of common sense and logical thinking. So, so that is a way to kind of look at it. So the only reason I did is because I didn't put in my normal tagline of, and by X, I mean X, Y, Z. So, and that was my fault for not policing myself on something like that. Because I understand the generation gaps and how one thing may seem different to another as opposed to somebody else watching it today. Anybody who watched that video who's my age or older, probably understood what I was saying, what I meant, I should say, what I was meant, where anybody maybe my age and younger may not get it. So just like today, there's slang being used that us older people are like, huh, what is that? Or have to learn a new language because of the slang that's out today. So, but no, I'm not taking it down. There's no... When you take something down like that, when you meant no intentional harm, they win. And there's nothing for them to win there. You know, I, I even put it under the post what I meant. So if somebody can't take that and they still want to think it's a malicious thing or what have you, then um, that's their own insecurities there. That has nothing to do with me at all. So that's the way I look at it. I love Miss Courtney. She's a pretty dog. That's my baby girl. She's about 15 now. So she's up there. She's getting there. Oh, I think most of it is just response to yesterday's video. Here's one. eBay keeps jacking up my promoted listing rate. When I set them at a fixed 2.4, many of them jump over to 12. I've never seen a more messed up site miss messing with their sellers as much as everyone is finding this entire past year. Are they intentionally self-destructing because the site has been backwards for over a year now? Um, all right, for the percentage things, have you ever promoted it 12% within the last 30 days? Because if you did, then that would make sense that every once in a while, you're still gonna sell one at 12%. If you haven't and it jumped up, that has been an issue and has been a problem. A lot of people have been complaining about it probably for about past two months to pay attention to your promotion percentages because they are doing that. Um, as opposed to self-destruction, I say yes, if the factor that uh, the rumors seem to be in favor of the statement of just throw everything in it, we'll fix it later. That, in my eyes, is self-destruct. And that is a conscious self-destruct. If that, that line is indeed factual, and that is exactly what's happening, or just keep throwing everything at it, we'll try to keep up. That, too, is self-destruct. Because they, when, you, when you realize that you can't keep up, but you keep doing it, then that's, that's self-destruct. So it depends on who's making the decisions and exactly what decisions they are making. So it could very well be an intentional self-destruct. Now, if somebody came in and said, well, stop, shut everything down till it's fixed perfectly. And then let's just do one thing at a time. Then it would be a totally different story. But it feels like something's being done almost nightly to the website. And when you're doing things almost nightly to the website, yet 
things are not being fixed, things that's been going on for two years for me, still not fixed, that I've called in many times. I've sent videos in, I sent a video in at least once of all the issues, and they're still going on two years later. That's intentional in my eyes. So. Don't police yourself for the sake of a random stranger. No, I, like I said, I police myself before the generation gaps. And it's not like I... Sure, there are things I don't say anymore because, yeah, it's a new day and I probably wouldn't think about saying, you know, I don't even like saying it anymore. Like in the 80s, it was just to call somebody the three-letter word that means gay today. Back then, it was just friends being friends and just using the word randomly, not even thinking it may be hurting somebody's feelings, right? That's the way you are when you're younger. But today, I wouldn't use that word even if I didn't care, you know, just because it just doesn't fit into my vocabulary today. But if somebody, if me and my friends got together and one of us just said it out of the blue, I know where it's coming from. And if somebody younger heard that, they'd be like, oh, you're a homophobe. Well, no, you don't understand, you know, so. That's, and I'm I'm open to the public, you know. It's, so you've got to, in, in a way, at least police yourself if you say something that may not fit right and at least, you know, at least, ex ex I get where you're coming from. I do. I really do. But I also understand that anybody could watch this video. And I wouldn't want to give a wrong impression to somebody for them to say, well, I can do it because I saw James do it on that video. You know, so it's more like that when you're, and I'm not saying I'm an influencer in any way, but you got to kind of step back a little bit and think anybody can watch your video. So what do you want to project onto if somebody younger was watching the video, you know, and that's from everything from trying to help somebody to create something, to build wealth, to whatever, to how to handle yourself um, with the words that you speak, I guess. You know, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm playing in the balance, you know, of both. I mean, if we if I was with friends and family and said that it would be I would have not have to apologize. I wouldn't even think about apologize because they would know exactly what I meant. And as I said, probably my age and older probably understood what I meant. But there's a good chance that 50% of the people watching didn't. So I don't want to project that to where somebody else can say, well, I can say it because so-and-so said it, you know. So it's more about that, I think, you know, just than person. Like, I know where I came from, so it's not bothering me and it's not going to bother me because I I explained where I was coming from. But if I didn't explain it and then that rubbed somebody else to say, well, they can say it, and then I, would, I wouldn't feel good about it, you know? So. All right, let's go. Let's get into shipping. Let's knock out these couple of Poshmark first. I just try to be a lot more of a decent person than I was in my teens and 20s. If I was in my teens and 20s, I wouldn't apologize. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't, you know, whatever. I just, uh, I try to be, a, I try to be a little bit better person. I'm still, you know, you can't, you can't take the Hoosier out of the boy, but when you take the boy out of the Hoosier, but you know, I, mean, I still at least try to be. On some fronts, I mean, I still wear t-shirts and a lot of, you would imagine the, I mean, if you don't read all the comments, I get at least once a week somebody 
talking about my hair, I, my t-shirt, my clothing, my hat. Like, really? Is your life that sad that you have to care about how somebody else is, you know, presenting themselves? What is going on with my scale? There you go. Oh, I don't need scale. Like, I'm doing Poshmark. So, yeah. If, if, if I really cared what other people thought or did, I wouldn't be who I am. <laughs> I'd, I'd be I'd be molding myself to what somebody would think I should be. You got the Mizzou one piece that sold for fifteen dollars. You know I'd be cutting my hair. Wouldn't wear a hat, especially a hat that some would say you're too old to be wearing a flat bill hat. You know there's all there's so many different routes people who are very insecure with their own personal selves could take. Like, the last thing I am is an insecure person. I dumped that at the age of 23. For the most part. Except when it came to, like, the fact that I couldn't find a future and a direction I wanted to go. That was my only insecurity, and that was only around when I was dating girls who were clearly had a good head on their shoulders and knew where they were going. That was my only insecurity past 23. That's why in my 20s I dated a lot of... Uh, I wouldn't say dated, hung out or, 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 or dated a lot of scrubs because <laughs> I didn't have to feel bad around them or feel insecure about them. That's bad to say, I know, but people who weren't going anywhere, who were just trying to get through life as free, you know, as, as riding the coattails on somebody else as possible, you know, type of thing. Next up, we've got a polo men's long sleeve t-shirt. Sold on Posh for $12. Like, I've always been more attracted to strong-headed girls as a... But, I, but like I said, I always felt a little insecure because I didn't have that strong head and didn't have a, a particular direction to go in. I was just trying to figure it out. But those were my two longest relationships prior to this marriage. One was two years, one was three years. Everything else beyond that was maybe six months. But the two that were the longest were the two, two strongest-minded people. So Jan's been the strongest mind of all three. And then there was the, the first Christine and then the second Christine. So they were both named Christine. Figure that one out. But uh, <laughs> but those were the the longest one. The, all my longest relationships have been with strong-headed people. And the one that last is the one I hadn't I didn't feel insecure in. So, so there was a good chance that I was, you know, I, not 100%. I was the problem in the other relationships. Because if I didn't have that insecurity, and they probably weren't even causing me to have that insecurity. It was just self-inflicted. I was 100% the problem in those relationships. Like, if I had a direction then, I probably wouldn't be here now. So, that's at least a good thing, right? So. What is up with just $5 offers? The last, like, 24 hours. I want to say, like, 
75% of the offers have been $5. All right, let's get into this eBay stuff. Be quiet, Dale. You're on camera. That's not pulled. Oh, let's go. Purchase shipping label. See if I got any international overnight. Two nights in a row I have not. Or is it three now? Two or three. Let's see. We've got one. Yay! We got two, both Australia. We got three, UK. Yay! All right. A little bit better sales yesterday. Actually had international overnight. So there's two positives back. Yay! All right, first up, we've got... If you watched my yard sale, neighborhood yard sale video from my neighbors, I think the thumbnail says, I bought this Pendleton blazer, jacket, and pants. I think I paid $2 for it from the neighbors. And this was actually, I guess, a friend of the neighbors who was involved with the yard sale also. So those together sold for $38. Headed to North Carolina. I think I'm going to grab a box for those. Better than put them in a bag. Shipping supplies got here yesterday, so that's good. Except I still haven't ordered my bags from Zero Pack. Remember, if you need bubble mailers or poly bags, Zero Pack link below. Use my code, save ten percent off your order. And I appreciate it if you do. And also, if you want to start Poshmark, my Vendu link is below. Save twenty-five percent on your first month. That's my sales pitch for the video. Thank you for listening. Thank you for playing along. And I'm reminding you to do things. Please like this video while you're there, while you're here. Hit that like button, please. Please. Would you please? Please. I beg you, please. Oh my God, just, just hit that like button. Why would you put me in this position? You should just automatically like it. You, sh you should make me beg every video to like my channel. Why do you do that? You just like to see me grovel. Oh, stop it. Stop it, you're so cruel. You're so cruel because you just won't like my video. <laughs> this weekend, I gotta get in a jovial mood. I screwed up an order last week. Somebody ordered that vintage Hawaiian thing from me. And I didn't read three pieces and I pulled just the shirt out. So we got like the undershirt vest and the pants. I'm like, whoops. And like, that's going to cost me. But that was like $50. So I got to get that out today. I goofed up. I goofed up. I made a boo boo. I also made a boo boo. I just did. I made a boo boo. We got a Boeing windbreaker jacket. I sold for $19. Headed to Lake Mary, Florida. This sounds like a song. Lake Mary. Let's make a song. Lake Mary. Where the breeze, breeze blows through the trees. Lake Mary.
Well, your dog won't get no fleas like Barry. You see the blue in the sky like Mary. Land where the mosquito flies. Boom, 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 boom. So I was walking a path on Lake Mary one day. And this homely looking guy came up to me and said, hey. He said, what are you doing around these parts? Oops. Then he lifts his leg and gives up a fart. Next up, blue bonefish hat. Headed to Stockton, California, sold for ten fifty. Ten fifty. <laughs> Somebody left a comment and said. Why do you recommend an 8x6 box? It, box? it flattens my hats. I'm like, what the hell are you doing to your hat before you try to put it in a box? Like, how the hell does an 8x6 box flatten a hat? <laughs> uh, people are funny. People are funny. Next up, we've got River City Rascals hat. Headed across the river to Belleville, Illinois, sold for $10.50. got enough like material for those two channels i just don't they're not it's not easily accessible that's why it kind of stinks so, it was a good thought if i had easy access to all my items but at least with showing everything i might get a broader audience so that's a that's a positive it might help it grow quicker So that's what I plan on doing. So if you like that idea, it's going to be under the hat channel. That's the one I'm going to change. So if you want to jump on, if that sounds like something you're interested in and want to jump on, subscribe to the hat channel, which name will eventually change once I come up with one. Klein Hines Brothers Livestock Hat. Headed to Indiana, sold for $15. This is one I put up a few days ago. That's about the only thing I've sold that I put up this week that I know of, that I can remember anyway. That jumps out at me and says, hey, you listed me this week. Bum, 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 bum. Jeremiah. I was a bullfrog. He was a good friend of mine. I don't know if I've ever heard that song. I've just heard that reference. Free Authority hat sold for ten fifty. Headed to Torrance, California. Torrance. Torrance has got to be more of an industrial area because that's where a lot of uh, that's where. Uh, warehouse was for Blockbuster slash Sound Warehouse slash all the music stores back in the day. Do, 
Here comes Carl. I got your hand. Head it up to you. Next up, we got. Are you ready for a CD lot? Yeah, you are. Now, three CDs that sold for four twenty, four twenty, and seven dollars. So you can do the math, because I'm not. We got Willis, Do Me Baby. We got Real Drama. And we've got Shara. And that was a Hastings buy. One of the Hastings. I got a bunch of these left. Gotta get these used stickers off there. Since they don't understand they're not really used. Alright. Well, alright. Running. I know where you're hiding. You will be dying. One thousand deaths. Do 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 do. Running. I know where you're hiding. You will be dying. Headed to Ho Ho Cuss, New Jersey. Never heard of that one, but I can remember anyway. Ho Ho Cuss. Da, 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 da. Ted. Ted it is. There you go, Ted. I can't do that because that will fall. Next up, we've got Stefan Hannigan cassette. So far, twenty dollars and. 30 cents. Headed to Jonestown, Pennsylvania. Ba, 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 ba. Ba, 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 ba. I gotta make sure I got enough. I might have to do a big order on Gerald Pack. Or just going to a doctor. Doctor, doctor, Doctor Catherine. What kind of doctor? I don't know. Boink. Next up, we got Eaton Cutter Ham. Boom. So for ten fifty, headed to Houston, Texas. Well, it's easy to get the doctor name in front of your name nowadays. Well, why haven't you? Because I don't have it. You know, it's easy. Why haven't you? No, it's... If you can benefit from it and it's easy, why not do it? Uh, because, uh, because, uh... because it's not easy. Shut up. Go away. Giving up your time is not easy. Brain power is not easy. Which is proven in today's society. Because not many people use too much brain power. Look at me and what I do. You think I use a lot of brain power? Hell no. Hell no. We got a Houston, Texas shot glass. I mean, it's a shot glass. Didn't take much power to go to the yard sale and say, and hey, how much you want for all those shop glasses? Didn't take much brain power. Uh, so for six fifty, headed to Omaha, Nebraska. Now, if I would have tried to calculate the square footage that all those shot glasses were going to take up in my vehicle, then that'd be a little bit more brain power. I have no idea where I'm going to go with my thumbnail and title today. My mind's open. That's exciting. It's like, where can I go? Let's see if I can piss somebody off with it. Yeah. Yeah.
You said you were going to talk about fireflies in your video. I watched your whole video and I didn't hear nothing about fireflies. And now, are you ready for something completely different? Not really, but I felt like saying that. Are you ready for a CD lot? Two K9 Posse CDs. Sold for 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, almost $17. Bought your zero pack for me today. Zero pack, zero pack. Have you bought some zero pack for me today? Next up, we've got Ethan's. Has been in my store for like five years, so I took an offer on it for five dollars. One dollar for every year it's sat. Headed to, headed to Centerville, Virginia. Dreamer cassette tape, sold for five dollars. Headed to Garden Grove, California. Dr. James reporting for duty, please. Dr. James reporting for duty. We got a glue to sponge on. Glue a sponge on, they said. There's no sponge. Quite like a sponge glued on. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. There's a little piece of dry on there. Okay. Ta da! Put a doctor in front of my name just for doing that procedure. Dr. Cassette Man. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. He glues pads in a single action. Confirm my purchase. Prince of the labels.
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Start seeing how far back it takes me. Grace under label. Dang. Hope you like your hat. Dang. Fernando. Fernando. I'm going to change my name to Fernando. So I can just walk around all day saying my name. Fernando. What's your name? Fernando. I am Fernando. And who are you? I am Dr. Fernando. I have a PhD in reselling. Carl's a simple name. Carl's, Carl's a happy simple name. What's your name? Carl. Jeremiah. Jeremiah feels like a too complex name for me. Feels like that's a name you have to live up to. Jeremiah. Like, do you know anybody named Jeremiah who is a loser? Matt. Now, Matt's a name you don't have to live up to. I know a lot of losers named Matt. <laughs> I don't know if I do or not. I'm just making up stuff as I go along. Can you imagine how, some, how confused somebody could be watching my video, hearing the stuff I say sometimes? wrong with this dude what do you mean what's wrong with me what's right with you there's nothing wrong with me i am all right child i don't know where you grew up but not normal is normal mm-hmm don't you get me started, girl. Uh-uh. I will go ghetto on your ass. Don't make me go ghetto on your ass. Shoot, born and raised. Ghetto fied. Ghetto spectacular right here. Shoot. I go so ghetto on your ass. You won't know what hit you. You'd be like, oh my God, was that a car? No, that was my ghetto. And you are lucky to survive. <laughs> Broadway Blu-ray headed to the UK. Sold for $9. $9 for I was walking through the ghetto one day And I heard a little homie say Hey you, give me your money I don't know where I'm going with that That one led nowhere And that's okay I just call them Blu ray DVD, it makes it easier. I was walking through the ghetto one day, and I heard a little homie say, What's up, baby girl? I know you heard the printer. I'm not quite done yet. I got a couple more here. Yes, I do. I got a couple more here. I got a couple more. I was walking through the ghetto one day. And I heard a little homie say. I could make a nice happy song about getting mugged or something. I was walking through the ghetto one day. 
And I heard a little homie say, Hey boy, won't you give me your car? So I can drive it fast and far. I guess you wouldn't be walking and ask to be taking your car. You'd have to be driving. I was driving through the ghetto one day and I heard a little homie say We got a karaoke uh, CD. Sing the Teen Hits, Volume 4. Headed to Australia, so for 420. got this Jefferson Starship Somebody to Love 45 No somebody to love The only thing I ever think of when I hear that song is Jim Carrey in the Cable Guy movie Australia sold for three fifty. Three fifty. Surface, and I gotta get this sent out to the right person. And let me find their Addy, Addy address. But I'm already in hour four, so all I have to do is ship this back, extra stuff out, and resurface two CDs, and I'm done. Let's see where we're at. So we are at 10 a.m., and we are at two hundred and thirty-six dollars. That's actually better at 10 a.m. than we've have been lately. So. I'm guessing I get a couple of days turned on by eBay. So thank you, Master eBay, for giving me a couple of days on if that's where I'm headed. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'll probably do a live today. So Live Feed Lounge, the link is below. If you want to subscribe to that channel, I'll probably hit 4,000 on that channel probably before I hit 1,000 subscribers. So I need all the subscribers I can on that channel. Live Feed Lounge down below, please and uh join in on the live chat or just watch me work and every once in a while kind of read the chat so, if you need some uh company while you work that's what we're growing into over there so 
a good turnout yesterday. I had 12 at the highest peak. 12, 12 awesome people. So I think it's got 69 views total as of last time I looked at it. So, pew. Off in the right direction. So thanks everybody for watching and I will uh, see you all in the next video.